Granger isn't your typical teenager. He doesn't play football with his mates. Instead he spends his time running a website in a bid to catch his mum's killer. He tells us his memories of that fateful day and how her death has affected him. I just remember my auntie told me what had happened. I think I was crying on someone's shoulder. I've had um, sleeping problems and a uh, few nightmares before. Depression. At school, I did try. I mean, for first year, I was alright. Then, for some reason, it just went off the scales a bit. I don't know how to put it. It was just hard at school. More than 500 murders across the UK remain unsolved. Danny is hoping advances in DNA technology will help trap his mum's killer. Pete Sudbury, a DNA expert, explains how this technology is helping to put criminals behind bars. Every individual has a unique makeup of their DNA. If it's possible to recover any biological samples from the scene of the crime, so this may be semen from a, a, a rape, then this biological sample can be used to recover DNA from that perpetrator. If the person who carried out the crime has given a sample to the police for any reason whatsoever since that crime, their profile will be on the database and a match can be made. And that is actually quite controversial. Danny's auntie Sharon describes how she remembers her sister. Just being sisters, you know, constantly fighting and arguing out remote or something like that. Um, but no, she she was cheeky, she was funny, she was playful, she was naughty, you know. For me, still today, it's like you think, I can't believe that's happened. It could happen again. That scares me and people seem to forget that. You know what I mean? You wouldn't just let a murderer walk out on loose. And, but they have been for 11 years. It's been 11 years too long for Danny. He is desperately hoping the wall of silence surrounding his mum's death will be broken. All he really wants is justice. If they've got any information, um, they should come forward. Even if they don't think it's much, it could be something which is more than enough to uh, put someone away or whatever. I always think about her and stuff like that, um, but I, d I don't really have much emotion in myself anymore.